Hello, Internet. My name is Paige, and if you're watching this, hello, welcome, hi, how are you doing, what's up? No? Okay. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I contour my face. It's not, I'm not a professional makeup artist, I just watch a lot of YouTube. That's all, that's it, that's all I do, that's me. Hey, hi. Right now, all I have on is moisturizer, primer, and foundation, so that's why I look a little scary, a little freaky. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what I use and how I do it and what it looks like after, so just stick around. So first we're going to start with some concealer under our eyes. We're going to apply this in a triangle shape because it not only conceals, but it highlights. After this, we're going to put it down the bridge of our nose, our chin, and our forehead so that way you can balance out the brightness under the eyes. That way it doesn't look too harsh. I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply this. I find that it's the easiest way to apply it and it gives it the most smooth looking appearance. Then I'm going to dip my beauty blender into some translucent powder and I'm going to set that under eye area. I find this is the best way to avoid creasing. Then I'm going to take some yellow powder and I'm going to put it under my eyes and then the other spots where we put the concealer like my chin, my nose, and my forehead. This just really brightens up those areas a little bit more than we already have. Then I'm going to cover my entire face in translucent powder, which is a super important step because it's going to prepare the rest of your face for the other powders that we're about to put on. It's also going to keep your foundation in place. Next, we're going to start the contour. We're going to start with this angled fluffy brush, and we're going to start right above where our ear is. We're going to take it down, but we're not going to pass where our eye begins. I mean, you're more than welcome to. That's just a personal preference for me. The lower I go, the sharper it looks, and I'm just not into that. We also want to remember as we're blending, we want to blend upwards and not downwards. That way the product is going to work for you, and it's going to lift the appearance of your face. Then we're going to take that color and we're going to bring it around our hairline. It's just going to even out the entire look. Next we're going to contour the jawline. This is just going to sharpen and define that jawline. Then you're going to take it down on your neck. This is supposed to diminish any look of a double chin. I don't think I have one, but I'm not risking it. Then I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and I'm just going to blend over everything we just did just to give it a more natural appearance. Then I'm going to take this fluffy little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I don't always do this, but I am obviously doing this for the sake of the video. This is just supposed to make your nose look slimmer. Um, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I definitely can. Then I'm just going to go over my nose with a duo fiber brush. Then I'm just going to apply some blush, just like I would any other time I was doing my makeup. Now is my favorite part. We're going to highlight our cheekbones. This is like what I look forward to every day when I do my makeup. It just, it totally completes a full face of makeup, in my opinion. Now I'm going to take that same highlighter and I'm going to put it on my cupid's bow. This is just really going to define our lips after we put some lipstick on and it's just insane. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter and I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose and up the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and I'm just going to swipe that all over everything we did, really blending all those powders together. Then I'm going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. This is really just going to have those powders sink into our face and not look like we have 10 pounds of makeup on. And that's it. That's the finished look. This is my face, all nice and contoured. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.